Okay, YouTube, we are back and we're gonna do the leaf casting without the suction table. So hopefully more people will do it. So here we go. We have the paper pulp. I added a little bit more water to it, it's fine. And I took it out of the refrigerator about an hour and a half ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir it up. Okay, that should be it. Don't mind my oil burner. It will shut off. I have to stop shutting it off because what happens is I forget to put it back on and then everyone in the house is like, what the F's going on? Why is it so cold? Why is there not hot water? And basically I have to say, oh, I don't know. And then I run downstairs and I put the oil burner back on. So, for those who don't know what an oil burner is, maybe if you live in warm climates, that, that is what heats the oil to create the heat. I mean, the oil is burned to create the heat for the house. Okay, so we have our mixture here, which is pretty cool. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my grate so if you want to do this at home, you still have to create a grate because you're going to need something to allow the water to drop down. So I'm going to use the wee wee pad, the grate. Then what I want to do is I'm going to take the wrap that we're going to focus on. Now this, I cleaned it. I soaked it in the chloramine tea. And the solution that I made last time, I didn't go nuts on it, guys, because we have to do a cost-benefit analysis. Believe me, it's going to be a lot cleaner looking once it dries. So we have our page on the grate, and I have my leaf casting pulp. So right from the get-go, I see that this corner or this side, we don't like that, right? So all I wanna do is I wanna take my sheets of plastic, which is probably about four millimeters thick, and we're gonna put it in place. And this is gonna be a guide to prevent the pulp from going on the graphics. And I'm gonna basically do it as if the suction was on, but as we know, it's not. And we wanna take our time doing it because you have to do it in small layers. And the reason why you have to do it in small layers is you have to give the water an opportunity to fall through the Ramey paper and to deposit underneath into the wee wee pad. So we're gonna do this whole edge and I'm gonna do it in small layers and we're gonna let it fall down like I said and we're gonna leave that for now. And when we're letting that suck down or fall down through either capillary reaction, I don't know if that's the case because there's nothing sucking it underneath so this is just gravity but maybe there's someone out there who will tell me i'm wrong and let's work on the other side so i'll put the other plastic sheet on the other side and let's leaf cast this side and the main difference in doing it this way is that you have to take your time and you have to do layers, very light layers. You can't really drop a lot of the leaf casting on because there's nothing sucking the water down. So that looks good on this side. So let's do another layer. Now this would be done a lot faster if I had my suction going. And the suction also is a lot better because what it does 
is it sucks the casting into the little voids of the paper. We're not gonna have that here. And it's okay because if you just do this process the way I'm doing it and you take your time, you should be able to fill in the voids by doing it this way. So we'll do that, we'll let that fall in. And then what we'll do is let's do another row here as well of casting. And if you, you see a spot that it looks like you need some more, then just put it on. You can put a big um, squeeze there. So that looks pretty good for now. Let's do one more on this side. And remember, a lot of this is going to be cut off when you get to that point with the cutting. So I hope this process by me showing it will give the individual some inclination to do it. Now look at all the water that fell through in the wee wee pad. So as you see, that's the key thing. You need the water to fall through. So let's take this off gently and let's see how it looks. To me, that looks pretty good. Are we gonna have to put more? We may, we're gonna let that sit. Let's take off this side and let's take a look. Let's see how it looks. What I wanna do is I wanna wipe off the pulp, just like that. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And now I'm gonna reinforce the center. Now, when you do this, you have to be careful. You always have to check this side or the side that you're gonna put down because you don't wanna have any casting on it because then you'll just get the casting on the graphics. And that is a pain in the butt to remove. So let's cover the graphics with the thin plastic. Let's shake it up and let's fill in this void here. And let's go and slowly go down. And we're not gonna need a lot for this because it's in pretty good shape. But what I wanna do is I, I just wanna reinforce the spine. So let's let that drop a little bit. And as I see here, there's a little void. I, I can do this without using the plastic. So you can use just a brush just like this to block it and to put the pulp down. So that right there, I think that's pretty good. And then you wanna wipe off the brush to make sure you get all the pulp off. I think right here, we're gonna need a little more pulp. So let's use the brush as a little dam to block the pulp from going on the graphics. That looks pretty good. So let's do another strip going down here. We're gonna do a little bit more on the bottom because and on the top because we know there were voids there and you wanna fill that in. And then I'm gonna do another little st strip of pulp down the center just to, to reinforce it. So let's go back and do a little bit more. And this is, this is it guys. And this is something that you can do. You don't need a suction table. You don't need fancy vacuums or anything like that. This is something that you can do without all the gimmicks that I use and it works. So right now, what I wanna do is I want that to sit for a while and I'm gonna let it sit and I can talk to you a little bit about it and we're gonna let it absorb and we're gonna let it suck down and then I'm gonna show you something else I'm gonna do. And now we're going to use capillary action and I'll show you how, okay? So what I wanna do is I want to place a piece of paper towel 
underneath the Ramey that I have here. So this is gonna be a little radical. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this and this can be a big disaster, guys, but I don't think so. I think that I'm pretty good at doing stuff like this. So we'll get another tray and I'm just gonna drop this on the other tray. And nothing happened, everything turned out very well. So now I wanna put this back down and what I wanna do is I want to put a piece of paper towel just like this okay then what we're gonna do is I am going to take the Reme paper with the leaf casted section that I just did and we're gonna place it and we're gonna slide it off and we're gonna put it on the paper towel, just like this. Okay. Hopefully that looks smooth. Was it smooth? Maybe. And we're gonna put it down just like that. So now what will happen is the paper towel will suck down the moisture through capillary action and we'll get a better uh, result. I'm going to do one more quick run on each side just so we can reinforce what we did just like this. We'll do one more strip of pulp and then what will happen hopefully is that the paper towel will draw the liquid faster than if it wasn't there and we will have it where we are creating a suction effect or a capillary effect. Don't quote me on these scientific phrases I use. I'm not a, a scientist, I'm an artist and I'm a mechanic. I'm pretty good with mechanic stuff and restoration and stuff like that. And building I'm good with too. I'm very good with woodwork. I'm very good with moldings. I like to take furniture and recycle the furniture and make uh, furniture inside and break fronts and things of that nature. I'm very handy with that. I, I'm good in painting, spackling. I don't know why I'm saying all this, but I'm just trying to kill some time in doing this process because usually when I do the leaf casting, I have suction going and it's loud. Let's put a little bit more here. Let's put a little bit more here because one thing that you should do is round the corners. And what does that mean, round the corners? You want to blend the leaf casting in to the existing paper. So right here, I'm like blending it in so it basically flows better and it will nicely fill in where it won't be as noticeable but remember guys we're just doing this and one of the main reasons why we're doing this is to fill in isolated voids of the paper Whew. okay so i see like little things pieces missing right there and i'm not gonna worry about that Okay, because I sort of am going to keep that because we're not looking for perfection here. We're looking for something that is going to hold up in a book that you can read. And I think that trying to make something perfect in relation to every little thing, you're not going to achieve that. So fingers crossed. This is Holly Tech, so what I want to do now is I want to put the Holly Techs on, and so this will protect it now. We're going to put the Holly Techs on, on the top, and I don't know if you guys saw last time, this is the rolling method that I do, so you can get it on nicely, and then you just roll 
like you're rolling a few things, rolling. I used to roll a lot of things when I was younger, I haven't done it in a long time, but rolling. So right there, now I'm just gonna use my hands and I'm going to push down on the casting. And to be honest, now we can use more capillary action on the top, just like this. And we might as well get my dough roller or my rolling pin, and then we're slowly going to roll it. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure doing this right now because I don't want to imprint the grate. I, I want to do it light because as you are going to see very shortly, we are going to remove the grate and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. Let's get my heavy, semi-heavy glass. Let's put that right here. And I don't like doing it that way, guys. Give me a second. I'm gonna put it on the side here. And we, what we're gonna do is I'm going to lift up now both pieces of Rame together. Let's get rid of that. I'm off camera for a second. It's okay, I'll be right back. Don't miss me. Don't miss me, guys. I'm coming. Let's move this. And now, <clears throat> now you see why I broke up this video because it's probably getting very long right now. Let's put this down. And now let's make sure it's on the camera. It is. Let's remove this. See how much liquid that comes and pulls up. Let's get rid of that. Let's put another piece of paper towel. Oh my geez, I dropped the paper towels. My stock just went up in bounty. I use a lot of this stuff. Uh, these are Kirkland, actually Kirkland paper towels that I just dropped like a buffoon. Usually I'm pretty good not doing things like this. You know, this is outtakes that should be recorded. So... Let me roll them back up, because waste not, want not. Man, I'm dropping stuff all over, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's take three paper towels off camera. And let's put this on. And now we're going to roll it again. We're going to put a lot of pressure on it. Because hopefully by doing this, this will now push the pulp into all the voids. And hopefully this will turn out to be a very nice product, work product, hopefully it is. I can be wrong, but we're not all perfect. And sometimes things turn out better than other times. But I think this may be a good situation right now. So what I want to do is put a grate here and I'm going to take this. Let's move that off camera. Let's take some paper towels and let's waste some more money with the paper towels. Let's wipe it down just like this. And then what I want to do is I'll save these because I do use them. I'll hang them on my oil burner and off camera and then let's put three paper towels down three is enough and then let's put the actual wrap on the paper towels just like this and then i'm going to cover it with three more paper towels just like this and then what we're going to do is I'm going to work on the blotting. And when I'm working on the blotting, I'm going to put some weight on here. So let's put another piece of glass. Actually, I don't want to use the glass. It's not big enough. Let's turn around. And let's use one of my shelving units because this is nice and flat 
and let's put some weight on it i have to make a press guys a wood press and I'll, i know how i'm gonna make it i have the plan set up so this is how you do leaf casting without a suction table i hope you enjoyed the process now i'm not going to show you now all of the steps i take in order to put it between the plexiglass and blotting it and all that stuff if you want to see how that's done look back to this upload and look back to this upload hey you like those fingers because now i know how to do shot in shot i learned how to do that so i have to use it at least once a video and then next upload we'll see how it turns out and then after that i just have to do i don't know how many other wraps are there 20 something maybe more <laughs> so thank you for stopping by and stay tuned Thank you.